Sometimes in life you'll realize that the more things change, the more they stay the same. But you'll also realize that the more they stay the same, the more you are given a chance to do something different yourself. Um, today at church we learned about step two in recovery, and that is um, believing that a power greater than yourself can restore you to sanity. But in order to truly get there, you must admit to, to that power that you are powerless, or just to yourself that you are powerless over your addiction, that your life has become a manage, unmanageable. And for me to get there, I needed to realize that in a lot of my, in a lot of the early process, and even when I would stop doing my step work and become complacent, my addiction got the best of me and I would give in to um, the things that make me my worst enemy. That's self-hatred, that's lying, that's stealing, that's um, uh, belittling, not belittling per se, but getting mad when I didn't get my way, like little petty shit. And like, that's, that's not how change is going to be created. Um, in order to get better, you must do better. And believing that you can be restored to sanity comes from um, getting a chance to work with others and seeing their obliviousness and what they do and still say, well, you know what? I know that that's not you. I know something is taking a hold of you. And I let things get the best of me too. I'm not perfect. Um, I get mad, you know, but the thing with me is in order for me to work on things, I got to realize that that's the problem within me. And like, I got to A, accept others for where they are at and B, when I can't allow others into my life because they don't see the problem in coming to me when they are lost. But when I do so with them, they say things like, oh, your problems don't matter. We all got problems. Fuck your shit. I don't have to deal with this. You know, I can still say, well, you know, hey, I need you to understand where you're wrong in that. There's no right or wrong answer, but I need you to see like what, how, what led you to feel that way. I want to come to a happy medium and that's, um, uh, you know, restoring myself to sanity. Um, that's doing something different. And that doesn't mean I got to be everybody's best friend because I don't want to be. Um, I just want to be a voice of reason. I'm not here for your attention. I want to fit in. I, I don't want to necessarily fit in. I, I take that back. I, I'm here to stand out and do things differently. So while I will smile at you and say hello when necessary and ask how you're doing and say, okay, well, have a good day. In order for me to truly talk to you, I must trust you enough with my stuff. And if I do that and it falls on deaf ears, I can't allow myself to be available. I can't. I got to do something different by holding myself to standards and accountability by giving it to God and serving no purpose other than asking God to guide you in the right direction by giving, rel relinquishing that weight, that stress, that powerlessness to him and saying god do with this what you may as much as it may hurt because the ultimate form of love is still believing in others when they don't believe in themselves but doing what is best for you at the same time so not belittling them not making them, badgering them rather personalizing them hey i get it but you know what i got my own stuff that I need to work out and I want to meet you halfway and help you help me here but if you're not willing to do the work if I got to go 100 or if I got to go 85 while you go 15 it's never going to work it's going to be a crash collision it's eventually going to lead to my relapse and that's where doing the steps comes into play for me I can restore myself to sanity by realizing that we all got problems and I can't let your problem become my problem. All I can do is give you a simple solution.
And that's what I'm here to do. That's what my predecessors did for me. There is a simple solution and that the first one is not catering to your sex addiction, to your drug addiction, to your defects, surrendering them and admitting whether it's God, whether it's a doorknob, whatever power greater than yourself. Yo, dude, I'm powerless over this, like, I, but I can't do this alone. And I believe I can be restored to sanity Will you allow me to be? Will you humble me not to put that weight on me, but also not being so cold and confrontational while accepting, you know, other people do have problems and they handle things differently, giving me the ability to show them why I handle things the way I do, you know, um, And it's, it's hard, it's, it's hard, but I can do it with a smile on my face because I'm not going to better anybody if I don't just keep moving, man, damn it. I, I've had a hell of a time looking at myself and realizing that I can be a thief. Even if it's small things, it all builds up to something bigger. I can give in to sex at times. I can lie and feel no consequence but I do feel a consequence it hurts me and all I want to do is show you what I am doing to better me and the only thing I'm really doing is showing up going to meetings putting the effort the maximum dedication passion and perseverance into it putting my heart on my sleeve and giving the same effort in my recovery and my guidance to God that I did in my addiction and my character defects. And that's the hardest, most humbling, humiliating thing of all. But if you can do that, I promise you, you're going to get where you go. You, you're going to go far in life. And that may be your only attribute. There's going to be people with more skills than you, better looks than you, more muscle, uh, bigger genitals, bigger... Uh, lumps on bigger balls of uh, fat on their chest, better, more meat on their backsides. But you know what? What makes you you is the heart you put in, the resiliency, the dedication that when you do get hit by life, you just keep walking through it and you keep trusting God. Anybody can trust God in the light. But what you do in the darkness is ultimately what makes you you. Much love, everyone. Have a blessed day.